he feels it. He is not dead. I know what I'm saying. Man of God is not dead. Man of God is not dead. Man of God is not dead. He's not dead in 10 years. He's not dead in 20 years. Man of God is not dead. Nobody should carry any news outside that he's dead. Nobody dead. The enemy has failed. Yeah, more information are still coming in on the demise of the founder of Synagogue Church of All Nations, TB Joshua, who gave up the ghost on his way to the hospital. According to the report that he has been sick for two days and after conducting service yesterday evening, he decided to go to the hospital and on his way to the hospital, he gave up, according to Sahara reporters. And since then, people have been crying. There has been lots of emotions. His body has been deposited at General Hospital in Isola, Lagos. Hi, guys. They're watching M Chiki series. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you're new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable. As we get right into this video, also hit that red subscribe button. That way you get our latest update and also turn your notification bell on. So, there has been lots of emotion trending the demise of TB Joshua. The only thing I can say is that looking at the video that has been circulating about his demise, a lot of people are so heartbroken because they depend on the church spiritually, financially, and materially. So, people are heartbroken. And there were other groups of people seated outside the church who are considered to be sick people waiting for miracle and healing. But unfortunately, he did not appear to them. So they believe that they are now on their own, they cannot get the help they need. Because of that, that's what I can say, he's a philanthropist. Please, Father, this is our father. I'm a widow. After this church, for 13 years. This man is always feeding me. I don't have money to go back and this man. I don't have food with this man. I don't have anything with this man, I'm a widow. This man, this man will carry rice. I don't know, don't give us money. I think God now is going to help us as the nation of Nigeria. Nigeria is gone. We don't have help at Nigeria, only this man. I never see anybody like this man or let Jesus Christ on that earth. This man is the second Jesus. I beg. We are begging God. We are begging God. He should wake up. Wake up, Daddy. Don't die. Please. This is my helper. I don't have brother, I don't have sister. This man is my helper. This man is my helper. I don't have anybody to help. And there are some people that are also indifferent about it, saying that he's the one that introduced the sale of holy water to today Christians and also all this miracle healing. Then how come he decided to go to seek for medical help, medical assistance at the hospital, whereby he gave up the ghost on his way to hospital. So some people have been saying that he would have healed himself. Why did he have to go to the hospital? But the thing is this, T.B. Joshua is still a human being. So if anybody believe that his holy water has healed him or her, that's up to the person. Personally, I don't believe that T.B. Joshua holy water is selling anybody if that's what you believe is okay it's fine for you so there's no need crying over spilled milk he's a human being and god has called him home because everybody wants surely one word or the other go there's nobody that will live here forever whether you believe it or you don't believe it that's the way it is that's the truth about life one day you go and meet your creator and having said that let me get into the life of tb joshua because tb joshua has been very very controversial when it comes to today's miracle a lot of people have even criticized him a lot of people have blacklisted him like the government of cameroon in 2010 who termed him as a son of devil who pretends to be man of god and lots of cameroonians then in 2012 were trooping to lagos for miracle they sold their properties some borrowed money at the end of the day they end up as refugee in cameroon embassy when late john atamios of ghana won he came there to his church days after he won saying that it was his prophecy that brought him to power when it comes to deliverance casting of demons exorcism he was big at that during his deliverance demons will be speaking from people and stuff like that then there are so many things even his anointing water he believed that he cures ebola in 2013 when the issue of ebola infection was very strong he sent 4,000 bottles and also donated $50,000 to people of Sierra Leone as his support for Ebola fight his guest house collapsed killing 115 people about 84 of them from South Africa 
the under one ffk femi fani kayode alleged that the Nigerian intelligence was behind that so there are so many controversies surrounding tv joshua i'm not gonna lie to you guys so tv joshua was born on 12 june 1963 in nigeria in ondo state he's a yoruba and his full names are temi tokwe balogun joshua tv joshua attended an anglican primary school so growing up he used to read the entire bible from genesis to revelation every two two months according to him it was as if the bible was the only subject that interested him in the primary school in exam he scored 99 percent consistently whereby he performed woefully in other subjects at St. Andrew's Anglican Primary School. Then after the father's demise, the family started to struggle financially and he was given to his uncle, that's the mother's brother, who was a strict Muslim. After primary school, his uncle took him to a strict Muslim secondary school. There at Muslim school, he was not allowed to read Bible. That was not too good for him. He did not find it very interesting, but during school breaks, he would often hide under a mango tree to read Bible because of those difficulties he could not finish secondary school he left school because his life was in danger he could sense since he was doing this secretly one day something is going to happen to him so he left on those states to lagos city and got himself a job as a poultry attendant he worked there for one year they were cleaning the chicken droppings he was actually working in a poultry farm as a poultry attendant the little money he got from the job he used it to go back to school it was at that time that things changed for him According to him, there was a time a teacher was teaching in the school and suddenly a madman came into the classroom and all students and teachers fled. The classroom was empty except himself and the mad person, the madman. People having fled outside was concerned about him because the madman was known to be violent. He prayed and the madman was calm. Then that was where the whole awareness of God presence in him started according to him. Then eventually this news spread around and people came to him to be prayed for and that was how he started his and that was how his calling manifested. So from this humble beginning came the establishment of Synagogue Church of All Nations and Emmanuel TV, one of the African largest Christian television network. He is married to his wife Evelyn back in 1989 and they got three children. May his soul continue to rest and may God give the fortitude to the family to bear his loss. That's the story behind T.B. Joshua's manifestation of his powers or how he started. But the funny thing is that some people believe that when they are sick, they come to his church for healing. When you are sick, you go to hospital. That's the reason why doctors are there. But some people, they will not hear. They want to go to their daddy or papa in the Lord first. At the end of the day, the time they are wasting will even be enough for the person to lose his or her life. So let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to sign off here. Stay healthy and safe. Remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it. And subscribe to this channel if you've not done already. I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye and remain blessed. The war that it is not for Nigeria alone. Make down, make down. The devil is there to see the opportunity. Are you hearing me? Yes. The man of God spoke to us yesterday on the mountain. The devil, yesterday in the mountain. Yes, it was exactly about not picking air. Are you hearing me? And the point was that he said he will not lay out of people and they should pray. And as they come here, they will have their deliverance. Hmm. But the point is that today, we, about 10 o'clock, we should look at the, the TV, the Brandman TV. And what is happening in India that is the cause of the problem in this world, it will be specifically be put in, in, in worship point, which we all believe. Are you hearing me? Hmm. Our signal is to this today, which is 10 o'clock. So that we know exactly what the idea has called to the world. That is, is, is the major problem we are facing today. But we, as a, as a sinner, we are sad. It is a lack of, a, a, an input of infrastructure that we are facing. Because this is the point we believe. In every atmosphere, we believe the death is a shocking news. It's so choking that we don't even believe this. Are you hearing me? So we 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 in our self we don't believe. I that refuse it. He is not dead. I know what I'm saying. Man of God is not dead. Man of God is not dead. Man of God is not dead. He's not dead in ten years. He's not dead in twenty years. Man of God is not dead. Nobody should carry any news outside that he's dead. Nobody dead. The enemy has failed. The enemy has failed. The enemy has failed. Man of God is not dead. I refuse it. Nobody should tell any news to anybody that he's dead. I was called.
really called me, but I told them that I'm going to the synagogue to step my leg on the very ground so that whatever the plans of the enemy, it will never happen. He's not dead. Man of God is not dead. He will not die in 10 years, not in 20 years. I know what I'm saying. Man of God is not dead. Whoever is bringing that news, nobody is calling anybody to say man of God is dead. Um, have you killed him? Have you killed him? Nobody is telling anybody that man of God is dead, please. I am begging you in the name of God. Nobody should tell anybody that man of God is dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.